Blessed, blessed, good day. Welcome to Miss Tamari Daily Mood Podcast Live. Blessed love to you. Yes, who's watching me right now? I hope all is well with you and your families. And if everything not fine, you just continue to stay strong, stay positive, no matter your situation. Yes, who's watching me right now? This message is for you. You're not hearing this message by coincidence, but you're hearing it because of the active force of Jehovah God. And God wants you to hear this message. And that's the reason why you click on this video, right? because God wants you to hear this message, right? Yes, give God thanks. Give God the praise. Give God the glory. When you wake up in the morning, right, and you realize that you're alive and you're well, right, give God thanks. Give God the praise. He deserve it, right? He deserve our praise. He deserve our worship, right? Yeah, man, because you see, the biggest and greatest blessings is life itself. And when you wake up and you have life, just give God thanks. Give God the praise. If you're going to work right this morning, right? Yes, and you don't have no time for prayer because you're in a rush. While you're going to work on your journey, say a little prayer in your mind, right? Because guess what? God hear them silent prayer, they know. Yes, God hear them silent prayer because only God alone can hear, you know, or you read our mind and our hearts, you know, him alone know our intention, right? So while you are drive, you know, go to work, just give God thanks, give God the praise, right? Even if you are driving, remember when you reach your work, just say a little prayer, right? When you come home, right? Give God thanks and give God the praise, right? Because he deserve our praise. He deserve our worship, right? Yeah, man, you have some people, them worship man and woman, you know, and forget about God. But this message is for you. Yes, who's watching me right now, you know, a very on-time message. Just when you wake up in the morning, man, just give God thanks because guess what? This is the first blessings of life right and it is your life when you wake up in the morning and you have life that is the biggest and greatest blessings life itself and only god alone can give us life so when you wake up just give him the thanks give him the praise give him the glory because jehovah god deserve our praises and our worship on a daily basis don't you forget to give the creator of all things thanks and praise because he deserves it when you look around you you see the abundance you know of love you know you see the trees you know see so you see the birds you see the sky you see this the sun come out you see the rain falling right a god you know god did do all of them things they you know god bless us god love us god care for us Right, so just give him the thanks, give him the praise, give him the glory because he deserve our thanks, he deserve our praise, and he deserve our worship. A him we for worship. We know for worship no man or a woman, but we for worship Jehovah God because he deserve our praises and our worship so give god thanks today right yeah man make time out of your busy schedule to give god thanks while you're going to work you know you're walking to work or you're driving to work just give him the thanks give him the praise right yeah thank him for life man thank him for help man thank him for the, the many blessings in your life and thank him for the big blessings in your life because jehovah god deserve our praises and our worship give god thanks i have a scripture and it comes from first thessalonians 5 verse 16 to 18 and it says always be rejoicing pray constantly give thanks for everything this is god's will for you yes who's watching me right now this message is for you know yeah man this is god's will for you in christ jesus so what is the scriptures of first thessalonians 5 verse 16 to 18 is saying it is saying right you know continue giving god thanks giving god the praise because he deserve our praise and our worship on a daily basic you know because life right come from god he is the giver of life and when you wake up right you have to give god thanks you have to give him praise man because guess what he deserve it and without him we wouldn't be able to be alive today so give god thanks and praise out of your busy schedule today right and read the scriptures of first thessalonians 5 
verse 16 to 18 for yourselves. And when you read that scripture, just meditate on it and apply it in your life. I also have another scripture and it comes from Psalms 103 verse 1 to 4. That's Psalms 103 verse 1 to 4. And it says, let me praise Jehovah. Let everything within me praise his holy name. Let me praise Jehovah. May I never forget all that he has done. He forgives all your arrows and heals all your alignments. He reclaim your life from the pit. He reclaim your life from the pit. Yes, you's watching me right now. God reclaims your life from the pit. God reclaim my life from the pit. God take me out of the darkness. He plucked me out of the darkness because I was once living in total darkness. Didn't know myself. Didn't know who I am. But now because of Jehovah God will, you know, and because God love us unconditionally, you know, God care for us so much. You know, no matter what we do in our life, right? God forgive our sins. When people don't want to forgive us, God first forgive us when we go to his throne and ask him with our hearts open to forgive us of our sins. He will forgive us of our sins if we believe and, you know, keep on staying faithful to him. God will always forgive us of our sins, right? When people don't want to forgive you, God will always forgive you because God is the one who read our hearts and our mind and our intention. And there is nothing that is impossible with God. Nothing under the sun that is impossible with God. When things seem impossible with men and women, nothing is impossible for Jehovah God, right? Yes, and as the scriptures of Psalms 103, verse 1 to, to 4, it is saying, you know, God heal us. He take us out of the pit and we are to give him thanks and we are to give him praise and we are to give him glory because, you see, God is the one. He reclaims your life from the pit and crowns you with his loyal love and mercy. A God show us mercy. As I said before, when man and woman won't forgive you, Jehovah God will forgive you, right? And he will crown you with his loyal love and his glory and he will have mercy upon you when man and woman now have mercy upon you jehovah god will have mercy upon you and he will crown you with his loyal love because god is a loyal god right god love us unconditionally and there is nothing that jehovah god wouldn't do for us right so read the scriptures of psalms 103 verse 1 to four for yourselves and meditate on that scripture, right? Man, this Psalms is a Psalms of David. And may I tell you, David says, let me praise Jehovah. Let everything within me praise his holy name. So you who are watch me, just as how the Psalms, you know, says in, in, in Psalms 103 verse one, you know, David is saying to God, let me praise you, Jehovah, right? Let everything within me praise his holy name. Likewise, you who are watching me right now, praise Jehovah, right? Yes, praise his holy name. Give him thanks. Give him the praise. Give him the glory because he deserve our praise and he deserve our worship. So give God thanks. You know, give him the due, right? He deserves it because God is a merciful God, a loyal God, a compassionate God, a God who will love us, right? Yes, without boundary. When people, you know, will fake love us, you know, with boundaries, God love us unconditionally without no boundary at all, right? Yes, I want you to read the scriptures of First Thessalonians 5, verse 16 to 18 and meditate on that scripture 
and also Psalms 103 verse 1 to 4. Read those two scriptures and meditate on it and apply it in your life. I pray you have a blessed day and remember, give God thanks when you wake up in the morning because guess what? It is the greatest and biggest blessings Life itself and only God alone can give us life. Man or woman can give us life, but only Jehovah God. So give him the thanks and give him the praise. I pray you have a blessed day and may the good Lord bless each and everyone. One love. Thank you.